the dame? Well, the dame is um, Antipodean. And if you haven't seen or heard an Antipodean dame before, you're in for a huge thrill. <laughs> Tonight, she's going to sing for us. It's, <laughs> it's her latest musical offering, a glorious tribute to her country's culture. Ladies and gentlemen, Dame Edna Everidge. <laughs> someone next door, or get them to video neighbours for me, or keep an eye on my pantyhose on the clothesline. But now, of course, you don't know where your neighbours come from, or what side of the water they've been born on. I'm sorry, but you don't. And as for borrowing cooking ingredients from them, forget it, possums. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. You see, neighbours. Everybody needs good neighbours Just a friendly wave each morning Helps to make a better day <laughs> Neighbours They need to get to know each other Next door is only A footstep away to hear you singing again. It is. David. I really Absolutely. have a lovely voice. It, it is. It is a lot. Well, you come, of course, from a long tradition. Australia has, has given us a long tradition of wonderful females. Well, we're famous for our singers. I mean, Dame Nellie Melba, Dame Joan Sutherland, Dame Kylie Minogue. Well, <laughs> not yet, but soon, we all hope. And Dame Keary across Little the Little Dame Keary. Mm -hmm. She's a New Zealander, but practically an honorary Australian. <laughs> Don't you love my little... That? clammy handshake. When I shook little Sue's hand, she was shaking a little to start with because I don't know, why do I make you just a teeny bit nervous, Sue? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, because you've got all the confidence in the world and your career is beginning to take off. It is. It's wonderful. I'm thrilled 
present for you. Well, of course, you did give me a lot of good advice when we met, didn't you, on Desert Island Discs? Oh, Desert Island Discs, because we weren't in vision, but we, they could have seen us. You didn't have your rubber gloves on. I didn't. These are my colour coordinated marigolds, possum. <laughs> and uh, it's what I wear to do the washing up. This is, this is the homely touch, Dame Edna, because I was thinking that, of course, the theme from Neighbours is perhaps a little homely for your great talent, isn't it? Well, I'm sure you're a little bit of a homely person yourself, darling, this from Tuckney and shopping in S&M. Is that where you go? <laughs> no, sorry. M and S. I knew it would be like this. <laughs> no, darling, look, I'm trying to put you at your ease, yes. Sue Lawley. <clears throat> yes. I am, viewers. But now, you have, you have, we believe you, you have given us things Australian. You have made us appreciate things Antipodean. It must be because of you that we find neighbours so successful, isn't it? I think so. It's a little... <laughs> well, I think I paved the way for neighbours. It's a little glimpse of Australian life. You know, it's not... They're not actors and actresses in it. They have a hidden camera in real homes. <laughs> they do. It is life as it is really lived in Australia. That's unique. That is unprecedented. It's a new technique. If that's the case, why do the walls wobble sometimes? <laughs> well, there are sometimes earth tremors in Australia. <laughs> and, and some of it's shot in New Zealand, which is shaking all the time. I, <laughs> <laughs> I presume, though, it must be rather home from home for you, because you were born and bred, of course, as you've told us many times, in Mooney Ponds, which was a suburb of Melbourne. Was it, it is was a it suburb. Like... It's like Putney, where you live. Is it? And it produces much the same type of person. Mind you, you come from Birmingham, though you've got rid of that accent brilliantly, I think. So. <laughs> you have... You've been doing your research, Dame Edna, almost as well as I've done mine, I should say. <laughs> so, you now sit here before us, looking beautiful. I think I am. <laughs> and I thought it was very nice. I wonder if very bright viewers spotted it. A lot of people who come on this show... You know, uh, and when you're not very well or on holidays when Terry takes over, and they have, they have their little numbers, but they mime to their records. I think that's cheating. I did, I did notice Mine that. was yes. live. Yes, we noticed and I deliberately, that. I deliberately made some little mistakes just to show that I was live. Don't you think? I mean, that's clever, isn't it? You, so... you are a true professional, dear Medna, it has to be said. Tell me about your boundless energy, because when we met last time, you just finished your London show, you've been on tour, you made this record, you made a video of it, haven't you? I have, I mean, I've made this wonderful album too. Endless energy, how do you do it? I don't know how I do it. I think it's because I... I get a lot back from the public. I get tremendous... Well, on television, you don't get so much feedback, though the studio audience are gorgeous here, if they can find them tucked away. <laughs> to give it away to get it. I know that sounds a bit metaphysical, but it is, it's true. I keep giving, I don't ask of things of my public, I just keep giving and I hope that I get something back and I do, and it's a psychic energy. It's a little bit spooky, to use one of my favourite expressions. But are you often asked for advice by famous people? I mean, I was thinking that the first lady, the new first lady now, Barbara Bush, I mean, could do Barbara. perhaps with... Well, look, I like Barbara's natural look. I don't know about you viewers, <laughs> but to me, all the wives of the President of the United States all look the same, haven't they? They've all had that tight, really over surgery look, you know, that look <laughs> that my bridesmaid, Madge Allsop, has got. You know, she's had so many facelifts, you know, the small of her back is like a Brussels sprout. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's yucky. The skin, when she sees a little crow's foot, she gets a knitting needle and sticks it in and winches up her face. <laughs> See, it is ghastly. And all those little tight women, you know, frankly, I used to think if the wife of the president smiles any wider, something terrible will snap. <laughs> I kept thinking, but old Barbara, you know, well, I say old advisedly because she does, you know, she looks matronly and lovely, and I like that natural Unlike, look. of course, Raisa Gorbachev, who little. does look really rather wonderful, don't you think? Well, she does in a sort of 50s way, little Raisa. <laughs> she's adorable. They don't like her much in Russia, I hear. Don't they? No, she's a bit too much of a glamour puss for them, a bit elitist. Have you ever been to Russia, David? I haven't, but I'm thinking of going quite soon. I, I don't know whether I should... Oh, why not? This mustn't go any further, viewers. <laughs> But I've been asked to go to Russia by Mrs. Thatcher, as a matter of fact, in <laughs> instead of the... <laughs> I see. 
Martin. And I'm going over there. I could give her a few little tips. There is indeed, I mean, something very regal about you. Well, there um, is. And yet, at the same time, you retain this common touch. I mean, there is something touch. very common it's about It's my you. marigolds. There is something <laughs> common about me. I'm an Australian. I don't... I didn't... I didn't miss the little irony in your tones. <laughs> I am an Australian. I can't pretend to a certain, you know, that kind of social elevation of the British. And I think that's the nice thing about Australians, and you find it in the series Neighbours, the kind of lovely, everyone is basically the same. Mm. We don't have the snobbery or the class distinctions that make England spooky, a little bit spooky. But England is also, Britain is very generous, and as we were saying just now, it's been enormously generous to the children in need, and Christmas children is Children in need unto me. The British public have been lovely to me, and they've taken me to their hearts, and my hit single, which is almost going gold as we speak, <laughs> is my present to you, my Christmas present to you. I don't want you to feel obliged to give it away, but I think you'll have to, possums, I'm afraid so. It's enormously kind of you. And the children in need, of course, yes. how marvellously people rallied behind yes. that. Yes, and how did. important that did, did, did was. You, did you? Of course did. I did. You did, yes. I did a special thing when I was in Southampton. Oh, did you? Wonderful. Well, we're, we're very grateful for that. Megastars in need. I'm thinking of starting something for them. <laughs> Just for the moment, Dame Edna, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Please.